Hey there, explorers. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving deep, literally, into one of Earth's most mysterious and captivating realms, the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is not just a trench, it's a portal to the unknown, a place where the very limits of human exploration are tested. Before we dive into the depths, let's pinpoint our destination. The Mariana Trench is situated in the western Pacific Ocean, east of the Mariana Islands and south of Japan. It's a crescent-shaped trench that spans approximately 2,550 kilometers in length. The Mariana Trench stretches across the ocean floor, reaching astonishing depths that challenge our understanding of our planet's geography. The Mariana Trench was formed as a result of the complex interaction between tectonic plates. The trench is located at a subduction zone, where the Pacific Plate is being subducted or being forced beneath the smaller Mariana Plate. This process is part of the larger Ring of Fire, an area of intense tectonic activity encircling the Pacific Ocean. The Mariana Plate, also known as the Mariana Microplate, is a tectonic plate located in the western Pacific Ocean. It plays a significant role in the geological processes occurring in the region and is closely associated with the formation of the Mariana Trench. The most prominent feature associated with the Mariana Plate is the subduction of the Pacific Plate beneath it. This subduction process takes place along the Mariana Trench, the world's deepest oceanic trench. The Pacific Plate is denser than the Mariana Plate, which leads to its descent into the Earth's mantle beneath the Mariana Trench. As the Pacific Plate is subducted beneath the Mariana Plate, it undergoes melting and contributes to the formation of volcanic arcs, including the Mariana Islands and the associated underwater volcanoes. The interaction between these two plates has led to the creation of the Mariana Trench, a trench that reaches the world's greatest depths called the Challenger Deep. The Challenger Deep is the deepest point within the Mariana Trench. It reaches a maximum depth of about 10,984 meters below sea level. To put this into perspective, if Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain, were placed in the Challenger Deep, there would still be about two kilometers of water above it. The environment within Challenger Deep is characterized by extreme conditions. The pressure at this depth is more than 1,000 times that at the sea surface, exerting an enormous force on anything that ventures into its depths. The temperature is near freezing, hovering around 1 to 4 degrees Celsius, 34 to 38 degrees Fahrenheit. The complete absence of sunlight creates a perpetual darkness. Despite the harsh conditions, Challenger Deep is not a lifeless void. It hosts a variety of deep sea organisms that have adapted to the extreme environment. These creatures often rely on bioluminescence to communicate, find food, or evade predators in the darkness. Scientists have discovered previously unknown species in the trenches, adding to our understanding of life's adaptability. The first successful descent into Challenger Deep was made in 1960 by the Bathy Scafe. Trieste. Since then, numerous expeditions have been conducted using advanced submersibles and remotely operated vehicles to explore the trench's depths and collect samples. On January 23, 1960, the Trieste descended into the Challenger Deep with Jacques Picard, August Picard's son, and U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh on board. The submersible reached a depth of approximately 10,916 meters, spending about 20 minutes on the ocean floor. This historic expedition marked the first time humans had reached the deepest part of the ocean, opening up new frontiers in ocean exploration. The Trieste's successful dive to Challenger Deep was a remarkable technological achievement of its time. It demonstrated the capabilities of deep sea exploration and the potential for humans to venture into the ocean's most extreme environments. The submersible was equipped with small windows for observation and lighting to capture images of the deep sea environment. Thank you for joining me on this extraordinary voyage. If you enjoyed this adventure into the unknown, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Until next time, remember to keep exploring.